Good morning. So today we are going thrifting. Very exciting. I actually wasn't planning on going today. I have work to do. However, I just had one of those mornings where it just, I'm in a crappy mood. And what sounded really good was to go thrifting. And I do have some specific things that I am looking for. Um, of course, thank goodness I wrote them down because I can't remember them off the top of my head. But I know I am definitely looking for a few extra chairs because we are hosting Thanksgiving this year, um, which is always fun. We hosted it last year. We've hosted it like once or twice in the past too. And um, super exciting, but our family is you know, getting bigger and bigger every year, I feel like. And so I need some more chairs. We don't have quite enough. And I'm also just looking for other fun, you know, like serving trays and cute things for Thanksgiving to kind of make it special and any decor, specifically holiday decor. It's that time of year. I just sort of started decorating, um, not specifically for Christmas. I'm trying to keep it not too Christmassy um, before Thanksgiving, but it's really tempting because I feel like Christmas is calling to me this year, which is not usual. I'm usually a little bit of a Grinch, but something this year, I kind of want to start decorating. So I might, might sprinkle some in. It's time for a thrift haul. So I also pulled up some stuff that I got a few weeks ago because it's on our theme today of being like Christmassy. And it was just so cute. I feel like I need to share it, but it wasn't nearly big enough to like do its own haul. So we'll, we'll get started with that. And then we'll move on to the stuff that we just got. Start off, I got this little fairy basket, this like ceramic one. It is so cute. I've wanted one of these for a long time. It's one of those things that's I mean, it's been trendy for years. I feel like at this point it's out of being trendy, which is probably why it's at the thrift store, but uh, it was always one of those things that I just couldn't justify buying brand new, but I finally found one at the thrift store and it's so cute and it's, well, it's technically not Christmassy. Obviously it'll be good for all year round, but I feel like it actually would be a really cute, specifically Christmas decor to fill it with like pine cones or fill it with ornaments or just something like that. I feel like for some reason it, it feels like it would be extra fun to do something Christmassy in it. So then I also got this cute little camper RV Christmassy mug. It's so cute. It's got a little wreath. It's got a little holly. It's got little lights on it. So, but it looks like a little camper. It's just so cute. I can't wait to hang this up. I actually am usually a Christmas after Thanksgiving girly. Like I wait until after Thanksgiving to put up any of my Christmas decor. But there's something about this year that like, I'm actually really excited to put up my Christmas decor. So I'm, as you can see, I kind of, this isn't specifically Christmassy, but I put up this little garland over our dining table, which I'm really loving. And I, you know, I think it's generic enough that it works for Thanksgiving too. It's not too Christmassy, but honestly, I'm kind of just ready to go all in on Christmas. So I think we might actually start on some decorating this week. This, something about this set of plates, I just, could not resist. They are so cute. 
I have really been loving the ski lodge vibes that I've seen in a lot of stores this year, like Anthropology and Target both have really, really cute like ski lodge motifs on some of their decor this year. It does feel Christmassy, but it doesn't feel exclusively Christmassy. Like I feel like you can leave it up through January and February and it still just feels appropriate for all winter long. These really reminded me of those motifs I've been seeing lately and they're just really cute. Not super vintage. Um, I can tell just by like the back, the writing that's on the back, which is probably great because I can feel a little bit better about like using these and not worrying about lead paint or anything like that. Like I'm pretty confident these are probably from the 90s, I would guess, but they have the vintage feel. Little women vibes. That's what I'm going for. So I really love these. I'm excited to use these. And it's not specifically Christmassy, but I did get this little basket. And originally I had actually bought it with the intention of like painting it for a different project that I was planning. But I kind of changed that project a little bit around. And I also just, when I got it home, I didn't want to paint it. I think I kind of like the green. Originally in the store, I felt like it, it didn't work. But then once I got it home and I got it out of like the thrift store, environment i i kind of really love it and i feel like i could add some bows to this little basket and it would be a really cute little christmas decor moment so loving him too so moving on to what i did just thrift we are starting off strong with a nice giant turkey plate it's melamine which is super nice so i don't have to worry too much about it breaking there's a a line at target this this fall that is really cute and it's I forget the designer's name. The designer did some really cute Thanksgiving specific decor this year, and I just couldn't justify buying it brand new, but this kind of reminds me of that collection just a little bit. And so I kind of feel like it scratched that itch for me of getting some Thanksgiving specific decor. So I've always wanted a set of these, but this is a set of vintage glass icicle ornaments. And I just, I've always loved them. I just think that they're so classic and timeless and just such a simple, beautiful, like addition for a tree. Or I'm actually even considering hanging it from this, you know, branch that I added to our dining room. But I got a set of six of them for two bucks. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I can never pass up a good plaid blanket at the thrift store. I just... I can't, it's like my kryptonite. I just, I can never say no. And this one grabbed me. I feel like it's a, such a good Christmassy, you know, blanket. It's vintage, I believe. Um, I'm not sure how old, but the, the tags on it certainly look vintage. I would guess 60s, but I, I could be completely wrong. And it says made in England. I really love that this is actually pretty warm. Now it's not terribly big, but I feel like it probably will be more of an accent piece, but I got this for $3. And I have been on the hunt for cute tins lately. I actually would like to do Christmas cookies for our neighbors and our family. And I'd like to like put them all in tins that I thrift. So I've been on the hunt and I'm not sure if I'm, I might keep this myself, I'm not sure, but it's a little um, brambly hedge like mouse, it's so cute. It's got little little mouse cozying up by the fire. Like, oh, it's just so adorable. And it was only a dollar, so. You know, I feel like people don't use tins as much as they used to, but they're just as good as Tupperware, especially if you, you can find ones in the thrift store that are like brand new, basically. And, you know, especially for storing cookies and storing little things, like, I don't know, I love tins. So next I found this little Christmas tree candle. And I just thought it was, it was so cute. I feel like I've seen these like selling online a lot lately, like the, the Christmas tree looking candles. And they go for quite a bit, especially in places like Anthropology. But I found this guy for two bucks and obviously he's still brand new, still wrapped. Thought that was a good little find. And this, I actually, I walked around the store thinking about this and I finally was like, all right, I'm just gonna buy it. It's one of those things where you're like, I don't need it, but like, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. And I'll tell you why. Let, so it's this cute little, little canister, which is so useful anyway. I always put all of my baking stuff in canisters like this anyway, so I'm not sure why I was resisting, but I love that it's got this very like, you know, sort of old school, very like, to me, reminds me of the eighties, like little village going on here very cute but then 
there's a Dunkin' Donuts. I just thought that was so funny. And me and my husband looked it up last night and apparently in the 80s and 90s, apparently Dunkin' Donuts would sell these little like specialty canisters every Christmas and they you would get them and they would just fill it full of munchkins. No, I just thought it was fun and extra special. I'm kind of thinking at the moment that I might fill it full of marshmallows and do like a little hot chocolate bar for the kids at Thanksgiving. So that's my thought, but either way, it's just something about it was just too adorable to pass up. So I found this little bell little brass bell. It's nice and like heavy. It's got some weight to it, uh, but it's just really cute. It says Se season's greetings. I think it's, you know, vintage-y. So I do want to add like a little bow or something like this. And I haven't, but I haven't decided like where I'm putting them yet. I have a few bells hanging from up here, but they're, they kind of all match each other. And this is well, this is real brass and they aren't real brass. So I feel like you might look weird mixed in with that, but I feel like I have to find a special spot for this one. Okay, last thing. And if you have followed me for a while, you probably have caught on that I tend to save my favorite find for last. So these are my favorite favorite. I was so incredibly stoked to find these. They are a set of brass candlestick holder deer. And I have actually seen these online quite a bit, these vintage ones, and they, I've seen them go for, for quite a pretty penny and I always really love them, but I am just not willing to spend the amount that like, they're probably, I'm sure, totally worth, but I've always had my eye on them. And so they were $4 each, so $8 for the pair. I feel like that's like a steal still. And they're just, they're just so cute. And like, they're, they're good all year round. Like, I feel like they're cute decor all year round, but especially for Christmas. Oh, I am so excited to put these out for Christmas. So excited about like so many of my thrift finds lately that I kind of just am ready to go. Like, let's decorate, let's do it. So that is it for what I actually thrifted, but there is something big that I think I'm going to thrift. So my last thrift store stop of the day was to a very local thrift store and they had a ton of Christmas trees. And it was one of those things where it's like, I don't know about you, but like sometimes by the end of the day with thrifting, even though I've had a great day, had super fun, I get to the point where I have a really hard time making those decisions, especially about bigger purchases at the thrift store. It's one thing if it's like the little bits and whatever, I'll just grab them. But when it comes to like a bigger decision at the thrift store, I it, I can't make it at the end of the day. So anyway, I was looking at all these Christmas trees that they have and they had actually a great selection and they had one that I particularly liked. And my husband was like, you should just go for it. It was great, but I just decided to sleep on it. And I slept on it and now I want it. I'm gonna go back and try to get a Christmas tree. And I feel like I'm probably gonna take you guys along with me as far as like the process of thrifting a Christmas tree and then bringing it back and seeing how that all goes because obviously it's a little bit different. You're not necessarily getting, some of them had boxes, some of them didn't and resetting it up so we'll see how that goes anyway thank you so much for coming along with me today i hope you are having a lovely day and i will see you next time